What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bradley Hill. We're going to continue with our breakdown of Polaris. Today we're going over the arm triangle to the back and the rear naked choke finish. Let's go. <laughs> sequence of the finish was essentially a rear naked choke, but it wasn't what I wanted. What I'd been practicing uh, leading up to the tournament was setting up the arm triangle from the back control. So I'm essentially using this grip here to feed into the choke. Now what ended up happening is uh, my opponent didn't want to give the arm triangle and by turning away from the arm triangle forced himself into essentially a checkmate position in jiu-jitsu which is the belly down back position, so a back mount. That is horrendous and pretty much should be finished 9 times out of 10 unless you make a horrendous mistake. Uh, so at that point I just had to close with the rear naked choke for the tap. So let's look at the details on this real quick. Around. Brother, brother, brother. Turn this way. So I've got my seatbelt grip. I'm on the side. Now, when I'm on my partner's back, what I'm doing from this point is using my wrist control. So, typically speaking, when I'm on the back, we're going for straight jacket control, and I'm usually on the opposite side so I can start trying to hide this arm. Now, off of this wrist control, what usually tends to happen is my partner's trying to twist his hips to the ceiling to get rid of that far hook. Which again is not a problem to me because what I want to do is step over into the mount and then this left hand is gonna come up around towards the neck. Turn on your back. So I can move into the arm triangle. This is the setup that I want, you see? What ended up happening is my opponent turned with me. So as he feels this threat of the arm triangle, he goes belly down with me. And from there, now he's in a horrendous situation of me coming in nice and tight with this rear naked choke, and then switching in for that finish to get the squeeze. At that point, it really is good night, Irene. So, switch his legs a little bit. Now, just the details on that real quick. I'll show you how to get the arm triangle as well as moving into the back. And this all depends on the rotation of my opponent. It's not necessarily something that I can always uh, set up myself, but I will be able to get the arm triangle if they, if they stay flat. So we have this wrist control. This is holding this arm in place so my left hand can get a grip right here. See? Now all I've got to do is pull this wrist back to get up onto my elbow. See? Now I take this bottom leg out, which is essentially already cleared by my opponent, so I can come up into the mat. Now because I'm using this wrist control, I'm also pulling him in this direction, which is forcing his uh, face and his throat into my bicep, giving me a nice clean uh, rear naked choke on the arm triangle, you see? Now once I'm there, I block that tricep, I bring my head below, connect my hands together, scroll on the opposite side, and tense for that finish. Now, I've gone into loads of detail on the arm triangle and the finishing mechanics of it in an earlier video. We'll drop a link to that before. And that's a free technique that is uh, part of my Brad Aconda series that's on the Grapple Club. So if you want to learn all the perfect details for that, head on over to that video or go over to the Grapple Club and get the full instructional. Uh, but I'm just showing you the entry and how this worked for Polaris to begin with. So we're trying to get to the arm triangle. The second situation is as I'm trying to get up onto this elbow and I'm turning this way, I switch my hooks over, the person turns with me. Well, you see, which is a terrible choice. Now at this point, I put his back flat. All I've got to do is search underneath the neck, which here there's no hands for him to hand fight with because they're stuck underneath his stomach. Yeah. So we wrap through, lock into position. I protect my hands with my chin. Take the hand off, 
and collect up for that chunk. And at that point, it's all over. So one more time, guys, nice and quick. Or the arm triangle. I have my wrist control. I take out that hook, post up, and grip. Now we begin the adjustment. Catch, bring your shoulder underneath the scapula, switch, and squeeze. And that was the finish to my first match in the Polaris tournament that I got the rear naked choke with. So we're using that wrist control to set up the back mount, and then as the guy twists, we close up the rear naked choke to get the tap. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and put a comment down below for any topics you want me to cover in the future. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.